Welcome back to Microbial Concepts. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about SDA, which is Abroad Textrose Agar. Okay, a widely used medium for isolation, identification, and studying fungal growths. Okay, even the pharmacopoeia recommends using SDA in pharmaceutical industries for isolation and identification of fungal cultures in their product. Okay, so let's study. So sabrodextrose agar is a selective medium for fungal cultivation and primarily it is used for the isolation of der dermatophytes, yeast, various other pathogenic and non-pathogenic fungi. It was developed by French dermatologist okay, Raymond Sabrot in 1892 and it is recommended by European Pharmacopoeia for the isolation and identification of candida albicans from non-sterile specimens and for preparation and maintenance of the test strains of fungi okay so it is highly recommended by ep which is european pharmacopoeia for the isolation identification of candida albicans not just candida albicans even in uh, some pharmaceutical industries it is used to grow uh, aspergillus okay because it is one of the uh, pathogens which are tested for the non-sterile products okay so the pH is adjusted to approximately 5.6 in order to enhance the growth of fungi especially dermatophytes okay and to slightly inhibit the bacterial growth in clinical specimens okay so that's the reason the pH is low and at low pH fungi the growth of fungi is uh, supported okay so however the addition of antibiotic to the acid medium is done to inhibit bacteria okay this is the common practice but it depends on your SOP on your experiment on your product okay the high glucose concentration it provides an advantage for the growth of osmotically stable fungi while most bacteria they cannot tolerate the high sugar concentrations so the bacterial growth is inhibited okay so that's the reason you will find in many of the uh, fungal media compositions that the pH is low and there is high sugar concentration okay now the principle of SDA that is abrodextrose agar is as follows now we will go with the ingredients here so the peptone which is present in its composition it is enzymatic digest of casein and enzymatic digest of animal tissue what it provides it provides nitrogen vitamin source required for the growth of organism dextrose it is a sugar it adds energy and is a carbon source agar is a solidifying agent okay and if antibiotic is added so for example chloramphenicol or tetracycline it can be added as broad spectrum antimicrobials to inhibit the growth of wide range of gram positive and gram negative bacteria gentamicin is added further to inhibit the growth of gram negative bacteria some of the other uh, examples which are not inhibited by the chloramphenicol or tetracycline you can add gentamicin to inhibit those now this is the simple composition you can see there is dextrose peptone agar and distilled water and in some cases antibiotic is added now the yeasts they develop a creamy to white colonies on sda and the molds they will grow as a filamentous colonies of different color okay with a cottony texture so this is how you can observe and study the fungal species like candida aureus okay yeast it has a creamy white texture on sda and this is how a fungal colony mold it looks on sda okay that this is aspergillus niger you can see cottony uh, appearance of the colony it shows that it is a mold of fungus and this one is yeast okay so i hope the difference between the cultures which are grown on sda is clear and i hope the principle of sda is very clear because it is very easy to remember okay so do like my video if you 
think it is interesting it is helpful to share it with your friends and do subscribe to my channel keep watching keep supporting